people. Yes. Blessed be the Lord. Verse 6. Yeah. Who hath not given uh, us as a prey to their teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. <laughs> the snare is broken and we are escaped. Oh. <laughs> You know, as someone that's been to court numerous times over the last, well, really five years, mm -hmm, I've had this problem of somebody trying to snare me. <laughs> now, let's say you have the evidence, right, <laughs> that I was in Inskwim, Washington on December 31st, and you decided to not admit the evidence. <laughs> Instead, uh, I was going to have my soul mm -hmm, snared by the fowlers. Yes, mm-hmm. Now, what happened was you decided to use mental health evaluations to say I was incompetent. Yeah. <laughs> and then I send you an email where I wanted to use the court system of the United States to sue you. Yeah. For the removal of both of those verdicts where I was too incompetent to stand trial. Mm. Now, when I think about this official view of those that um, are mandatory reporters. Yeah. See, on the one side, mm -hmm, if you have knowledge of fraud, mm -hmm, forgery, mm -hmm, kidnapping, poop, <laughs> child abuse, child neglect, and child molestation, poop, state law requires, but then there's the institutions that you work for. <clears throat> Let's say you work for a school district. Oh, you're a civil rights coordinator, and you said, well, take me off the email list? Yes. I'm not only going to sue you for not doing what you had to do as a mandatory reporter. Yes. I'm going to sue you for violating the official view right now. Oops. Look at all those new lawsuits we have today. <coughs> now, for any school district of the United States that has knowledge, yes, of the issuance of protection orders where there is no signature of the petitioner, yes, yes. where the ex-official Superior Court clerk's signature is a forgery, yeah, <laughs> where there's a forgery, yes, of the court commissioner, Right. Well, there's no due process to myself. Uh oh, and then you snared me multiple times and was going to have me put into a mental institution where you were going to administer psychotropic medication against my will. I have been informing you for the last few years. Yes, that my son's Oh, were taken from me because you refused to enforce the guarantees of the Constitution. Yes. Now, it could be, okay, that when I found out that they were going to graduate at 19 and a half years old because of the Peninsula Daily News article, yes, and the WIAA, it could be that the official view of every employer of all the mandatory reporters, <laughs> you're going to get big fat fucking lawsuits today, okay? Now, I'm looking for some money. Yes, he is. <laughs>